Welcome back to Zombicide Black Plague. I told you I had something fun cooked up, and so here we're going to do some more Zombicide Black Plague. Um, just the only problem I had was I thought, oh, this will be easy. I've got all the stuff done and ready for it. I can set this up in no time at all. And then I spent the last two hours messing with the camera and repositioning everything, and it turns out I can't make it work. I cannot make this fit on the board. So if you're familiar with Zombicide, you know that these tiles are monstrous. Take a look here. You can see I have the bottom part of tile uh, three, I guess or whatever hanging off the camera and then up here this tile stretches a whole other uh like square a third of this tile actually a little bit more than a third like half of that tile you can't see so i'm going to just have to slide them down once we get up there in the map and this really this one needs to be way up here like this but you can't see the spawn point so i'm going to keep this right here for now and i'll just slide this all up and remove these tiles once we get to that point in the game because we will not be coming back here and I will do my best to make sure no spawn points appear down here because that would break what I want to do. So anyway, uh, I picked, I handpicked some heroes out of the, oh, I think it's called the Huntsman Pack that I've never played with before. I just grabbed them because they were familiar characters. I thought it was would be a lot of fun. Our fatties down here have little white bases, so they might be easier to distinguish, but I didn't have different colors for the runners. You'll just have to trust me. I'll figure out a way to maybe point out that there's, you know, runners in a zone or whatever. We have our... Abomination with the red X stuck to the bottom, so maybe he's easier to spot in the crowd. And then continuing on with the zombie side breakout at the Hula Hoop Factory tradition, <laughs> uh, I've got this one just looped around the Necromancer here. So we will do that to keep keep up with what's going on. I just need a little bit of paint on the bases of these guys, and I think that would be okay, but uh, I didn't have time for all of that. So let's take a look here and see what we have. We have Zombie Side Black Plague. This is just the base game box, and I think there's actually nothing different except for the heroes because this time this map does not use the vaults thank goodness because I don't have any room for the vaults out here so what map you say I am playing a map this is going to be quest b32 called switcheroo a medium difficulty map for six survivors no less with a fun little story that I can't read that far away. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> oh, you know what I did, though? Ha ha! This is that same PDF chopped up so we can see it a little bit larger. Rumors have been spreading about magical teleportation stones. We are going to recover them and attempt to harness their mystical powers. After all, the zombie side never stops, and we'll need all the help we can get. And you can see here, materials needed are, uh, is simply zombie side Black Plague. So those are tiles from the base game, and all the enemies and everything here is found in just the base game of Zombies Hide Black Plague. No expansion necessary. Objectives. Accomplish these objectives in order to win the game. Number one, find the stone, which is to say, collect all of the objectives. Now you'll see here, we have one up here. Oh, you can't see that one, of course. You will not see that one. Uh, here's one here, here's one here, and then there's one and two. That is, there's only two on there. Let's take a look at that again. Ah, uh, so there's five in total. You can see on that map, the top right has an X. So the right-hand side is a little uh, differently balanced. That's, that's odd. It almost makes me think that that top left building should have an X in it. It's even sealed off by doors. That's a weird, weird... That's a really weird layout, right? And then, like, on the, on the left side... What? Wow, <laughs> that is quite strange to me. Um, I, you know what, I guess that makes sense though. Maybe you can kite the zombies though, like you run into those rooms instead and door uh, zombies from the spawn points have to go down to the door you busted into maybe? I don't know. Uh, okay, so collect all the objectives. That's the point. There's five it looks like. And then test them out, which just means reach the exit with all survivors. And you can see the exit zone is behind a door as well. Special rules. Place three survivors on each player starting zone on the right and on the left side of the board in any way the players choose shoes. Uh, so I split them up just three and three. Finding the stones. Taking objectives will have various effects depending on their color. So, oh good, I didn't actually think it mattered, but it apparently does. I didn't read too far into this. Red objective. I just tried to mimic what was on the screen and thought, well, if they're face up, then why? Uh, red. All zombies on the opposite side of the board are eliminated. No XP is gained from the skills, but each survivor gains 5 XP from the discovery and childish delight. Nice. 
green or blue, the survivor taking this objective immediately switches positions with a survivor on the opposing side of the map if possible. How funny. So this doesn't seem too bad. I might even actually be capable of pulling this one off. So let's, uh, let's point out where this comes from. So this is the PDF you can get. This is completely free. This is awesome, by the way, I think. So if you head on over to zombieside.com, they have a website here for any version of Zombieside that you have. You can find a bunch of free maps, and I happen to have uh, Black Plague and you can see up at the top here I don't know how well this works maybe it's great maybe it's not uh, but if I say like I just want to play Black Plague you can see it goes from 56 missions down to 31 this uh, we know uh, was a six plus survivors that's funny that is that is six required plus and then let's say we want uh, medium difficulty and we swing down here and we have switcheroo right so maybe this does work pretty well right so if we add it in uh, requires Wolfsburg. That's interesting. You need Black Plague and Wolfsburg. Okay, cool. All right, that's pretty neat, right? You can tack on more things like Wolfsburg and Green Horde, right? So this kind of wow. I didn't I didn't know if it actually worked or not, but maybe it does work really well. So it's really cool. There's anyway. Every time I see somebody on Reddit or asking you know wherever asking about Zombie Side, and everybody says, oh, there's ten missions that are in the book. Don't forget each of those expansions. You know, rest no rest for the wicked. Yeah, stuff like that. Uh, Wolfsburg. Uh, Green Horde, they all have their own 10 missions on top of, you can go to this website, and I don't know if it's all 10, I don't know if they're all 10, but I know that uh, Black Plague is 10, but the rest might not be as large, but anyway, they have they have missions in their own books, and then, not only is there all of these free quests, oh, I've got some filters on here, don't I, I do, uh, there is some campaigns in here that are free as well, if I remember right, they're probably at the very bottom uh, look at that quest, uh, you know, campaign, places of interest, and there's three or four, you know, maps in here, and there's four or five maps in here as well. The Fire God uh, campaign, right? So there's there's actually more, and it's just it's just cool to me that they're they're free, and depending on what you have, you can mix and match your quests. I think that's really awesome. Okay, so that said, we'll go back to the PDF here, and uh, maybe not. I think we're probably ready to just take a look at our new heroes. So I have the Huntsman. Pack, I think that's what it's called, and I got this aftermarket, like not aftermarket, after Kickstarter, um, from Miniature Market, and it was priced sixty dollars, and it had a gang of heroes in it, uh, survivors they call them in this. I'm going to say heroes many times, uh, and it comes with uh, some other things as well. But I took the heroes, and I just looked at the heroes. I want to say there's probably. 12, 15 heroes, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of people in there, but I picked out the guys that made me smile when I saw them. So let's start here taking a look. We have Totally Not Ash, this is Troy. Now I wanna show the art as well, right? This is, uh, this is Troy, and it's so funny. Because when I was looking for the miniature for this, right, where's Troy? Troy's red. I'm like, man, there's a lot of dudes with swords here. And I know this isn't going to come through properly. But trust me when I say, when you see the chin, you know you have the right miniature. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, so Troy here has free reload. So I don't know what any of this stuff does because I have only ever played the base game heroes. This survivor reloads reloadable weapons such as hand crossbows, orcish, orcish crossbow, etc. for free. That's awesome. Okay, good to know. Oh, and his little spot there, uh, his like body slot could be a hand crossbow instead. Uh, we totally have, oh, this is great. James! Okay, so this is, no, this is, uh, this is, uh, so that's, that's kind of a joke that only I would probably know. Nobody else has watched the new house party but me, but I died laughing at that. Uh, this is from the name of the rose. This is, yes, yes, this is the name of the rose. This is, uh, brother, oh, what's his name? Oh, is it brother William? Brother, is this, is your brother, brother William, I think. Brother, brother William. This is Sean Connery's character. I think it's the name of the rose, I think. Uh, what, anyway, we have search plus one card, and this slot may hold a torch instead. That's amazing. Okay, we have <laughs> not king. Oh, you know, I didn't show off any of this art. I really, I think the art for this game is fantastic, because again, I maintain it's, it's kind of a bad game, but it's, it's, it, it's on that it's on the line for me it's like the 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 worst game i own i guess is a, another way to phrase that but that feels bad it's like the best of the worst i, I don't know <laughs> uh so there's the artwork there you can see that he has an axe so i assigned him the hammer because that does two points of damage which we're gonna need because we don't have samson here to take out these fatties right 
We have Mortimer. We all know this. King Arthur from uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. This slot may hold... Oh, I didn't even notice that. So I so when I doled out your, your my characters or my starting equipment, the game says very clearly in the manual on the bottom step number seven, deal the starting equipment cards. And I have six of them because we're playing six heroes. And I have six of those gray cards as you see fit amongst survivors. Okay, so Zombicide Black Plague is a cooperative game, so decide as a team. Each survivor starts the game with at least one card. If a survivor's starting skill lists any starting weapons, he receives those cards now, independent of the starting equipment you've just distributed. So... So I guess I, you know, I gave him a short sword thinking that's what he would use, but then I see this now. Um, I actually, I saw this, and so I had to fish it out here, and I, I saw starts with great sword, um, and that's cool because I realized he could wear his body armor now. Like, we, we could have something else. We'll put it up there. So, yeah, so there's that. So he has a short sword and a great sword. I don't know. Maybe we'll... I, I don't know. I, I guess I could have given the short sword to somebody else, but I will divvy that up later because he's standing right there with Troy. Maybe he just trades it with Troy later. It seems like he should just start with the great sword, I guess, maybe. It's completely independent of, so maybe he has to start with one of each, I guess, right? So uh, we'll just do it that way and trade it later. Plus, they both started on the same side. So I know people are going to teleport around here potentially, but these three are over here and these three are down here, okay? So next up we have... We have Bob. We all know Bob here, too, as well. Another Monty Python great character here, Tim. Bob. And he is Lucky. And Lucky sounds like it probably lets you re-roll dice. Let's see. Lucky, Lucky, Lucky. The survivor can re-roll once all the dice for each action or armor roll that he takes. Oh, my God. You just get a straight-up re-roll? can re-roll one time all the dice. So maybe if you really don't like your roll, you can re-roll everything. The new result takes the place of the previous one. This skill stacks with the effects of other skills and equipment that allows re-rolls. Okay, so uh, obviously this is our mage here. You can see that I gave our mage mana blast. All right, so there's our, our shook up equipment. Uh, who else do we have here? We have... Uh, oh yeah. Oh, so I, I gave her the bow because in um, the TV show, doesn't she have the the throwy circle boomerang chakram thing, whatever it's called, chakram? I don't even know what the word is. Uh, this slot may hold a long bow instead. Oh, that's a short bow. She can't put it up there. Never mind. Okay. So, uh, but anyway, that's why I gave her a bow. Uh, she cannot equip it into her body slot. And then we have super strength. Super strength. Consider the damage value of melee weapons used by the survivor to be three. That's broken. She. Super strength. Consider the damage value of melee weapons used by the survivor to be three. Wait a second here. Of course, here I just dropped all my goods. So she she breaks the game. This is this is Xena. I picked her because, you know, I mean, Xena, right? So, <laughs> wow. All right. Well, um, I mean, that means that we have somebody who can kill an abomination at the start of the game. That's broken. What are her other abilities? Plus one to die roll in combat, even charge. What is charge? The survivor can use this skill for free as often as he pleases during each of his turns. He moves up to two zones to a zone containing at least one zombie. Normal movement rules still apply. Entering a zone containing zombies ends the survivor's move action. Wow. Wow. Plus one free combat action. Barbarian and show. Let me see what the rest of these are now, I guess. Barbarian. When resolving a melee action, the survivor may substitute the dice number of the melee weapons he uses with the number of zombies standing in the targeted, targeted zone. Skills affecting the dice value, like plus one die melee, still apply and shove. I've never seen any of these skills before because I've only ever played the base game characters and I've never gotten them to level like red. I've had them orange before. Shove. The survivor can use this skill for free once during each of his turns. Select a zone at range 1 from your survivor. All zombies standing in your survivor zone are pushed to the selected zone. This is not movement. Both zombies or both zones need to share, share a clear path. A zombie can't cross closed doors, ramparts, see the Wolfsburg expansion, or walls, but can be shoved in or out of a vault. Wow, that is 
super crazy. Well, um, I don't know how this is going to go, but you know what? I already made the thumbnail and everything, so we're sticking with it, <laughs> I guess. And then, oh, my man. Oh, you know, I never showed the, the art of these guys. That's a bummer. Oh, well. I mean, you know kind of what the idea is here. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just, it's Xena. Okay, and then, uh, and, and Tim. So here is, this is from Labyrinth. Labyrinth is a top five movie for me, okay? So, so you know, here we are. David Bowie, right? Uh, the Goblin King, all right? So we have Hitch, and what is this? Slippery, I think I actually did read Slippery last time I played this. The survivor does not spend extra actions when he performs a move action out of a zone containing zombies. Entering a zone containing zombies ends the survivor's move action. So I think we are 99% ready to go. I need to go ahead and get my little, uh, little plastic pieces out here to keep track of moves. And nobody here gets a free action, so I have only uh, the basic stuff I need to find. So I'll take a quick break and be right back. All right. Well, I guess, this, you know, thinking about it, the Xena character is only going to destroy the Abomination. And the Abomination is... I don't know if that's the big deal on this map. I, you know, I mean, it, it, they're always scary, but they kind of follow you around. They don't catch up with you right away. It's also possible, you know, that perhaps the Abomination does not go after the group that she is in. So maybe we have to just use it strategically. And this one looks an awful lot like a rush, you know, like to get these objectives. I want to I wanna fly out to these objectives. I don't necessarily want to... Uh, dilly dally and play around. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I notice the spawn points are strategically positioned. You know, towards the middle of the of the map here, so they're going to come uh, on either side, no matter where we are. Right? Uh, survivors are going to always be under some kind of pressure. So I think that we're going to be. I think it's. I think we're going to be just fine. I think we're going to be all right. Uh, I like the idea of starting with a great sword. That's pretty cool. Uh, gives me some some fun thing to roll right away. So let's go ahead and kick this off here. We have here's our turn order again. You know what? I got to mention this again. This sheet that I have here, I love this. I found this on Board Game Geek. Somebody made this. This is this is you know some user went ahead and made this sheet. It is awesome. It has all the skills on the back here for everything. It's just incredible. Uh, you should go find it. And I chopped it up here. So there's the top part that gives us the uh, game round summary, right? Gives us the phases, basically. Uh, then the, uh, oh no, what did I do with it? The targeting priority order is not that one. There it is, targeting priority order. So you can see here that the abomination... I'd have to get through all the walkers if I'm doing ranged anyway to get to the Abomination and fatties, but I think, you know, with Xena in there, just chopping down the, the, the Abomination, maybe we don't have a problem, but uh, let's let's get this party started now. So um, one last thing is I do, since I am the solo player here, I can, I can play in any order I want, and I will do that because that is the only way that this game is fun to me. The manual says, uh, you know, if you're playing with three players and everybody has two heroes uh, or, or survivors, when it becomes, you know, it's 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 player one's turn, he can do either of his two survivors in either order, and then it moves to player two, and they can do either of their two players in any order, and player three, she can do any of her two players in either order of characters, and then it goes back to the next player, right? So, so it's just me, so all of these are my characters, and so I'm gonna do whatever order I see fit, and that's the most fun to me anyway, so if that bothers you, you know, you know, maybe, you know, that's, that's my own personal rule for it, but I think that's what the manual says, and if I'm just one person, then it should be good so hopefully we can see this very well too like i said the camera zoomed way far back so let's get going here now we have we have the we have the entire world at our fingertips here so let's go ahead and start out with opening some doors now nobody here has any special free stuff for me but i want james to be able to search right so james is our orange man right here so let's get this door open who is going to be great to open a door how about mortimer with his million dice right so mortimer is yellow so he's going to go one two so that's two steps forward oh, this is going to be tricky i've got the the card pile in just a bad spot maybe i'll put it back here and you'll just have to not see it i guess I, there's no place for me to <laughs> There's too much stuff out here. Uh, oh, I guess I could move some zombies over. That, that would have worked. Anyway, uh, so that's two actions. So a third action, we're going to attempt to break open this door. And his starting weapon is a great sword, which is phenomenal, right? That gives us five dice right out of the gate to open a door. It makes a ton of noise. However, I do need a five or better. So let's see here if we can open a door. Zombicide's greatest failing is these stupid doors. I swear to God, they make me so angry. 
because I will not be able to open this door probably. Uh, good, we got two hits on, oh, three, that's a, that's a six, okay. So we got three hits, we've cracked open this door, uh, Mortimer is dumb, and now we have to spawn zombies here and over here. So let's go ahead and draw a card. Wouldn't you know it, the very first card I draw, you watched me just shuffle these, is a necromancer. Unbelievable. Oh, you know what? These, these were supposed to be up here so that I would reach for them. Okay. So we have a necromancer. <laughs> Fantastic. And a necromancer spawn is going to give, oh, a double spawn. <laughs> uh, which is uh, fantastic. So that means over here now we're going to draw two cards. So we have a one runner, okay, and the second card for this area is pew, another double spawn. I mean, who could have seen that coming? So now we're going to put two cards where the Necromancer is. So here's card number one, two walkers, okay. Oh my goodness. And the second card is ooh, a fatty. So this is this is what we drew. So the fatties, I put white bases on them. So all of a sudden we're in trouble, right? Oh, James has a hammer. Okay, so maybe James can take... Oh, so maybe I split these guys up the right way on accident, actually, now that I see this. Okay, so this is bad. One, two, three. Yeah, see, um, we're, we're, we're not doing well. So let's... Speaking of James, let's take James. See, we, nobody, can, nobody can do anything. These two characters may as well just walk in there, right, and go one two and end their turns completely because going in there isn't going to do anything for me. I won't be able to attack. I don't have Anne who can bloodlust in there. I don't have Nelly who gets a free move action. We're stuck. Dang it. Okay, so on this side of the table, uh, geez, so Bob can't even open doors. So Bob is going to go last, I guess. Let's take hitch one, two. So there's two actions and a third action to try to open a door. Opening doors with a short sword is mentally defeating. You'll get one single die roll and it has to be a four or better. We failed, we rolled a one. So there you go, all right? So we rolled a one and I believe that counts as noise whether or not we opened it. So there we are. We tried to bang the door down and nothing doing. So, okay, now that's it for Hitch. Let's go ahead and send uh, Xena in there. She is blue. One, two. And gosh, I mean, I don't, I kind of, we're going to wind up in the same boat here, right? So she, oh, she has a, she can't even open the door. She has a bow. And then, uh, so one, two. And I, I want everybody there. So let's just bring uh, Green up here. Let's bring Bob up there. There's nothing going on on this side of the board because I can't open a door unless Hitch can open a door. So, yeah, maybe that was a little bit of, a, of an oversight as well. So, okay, you know, I needed a ranged guy over here. So perhaps that would have been the, the, the way to go. Let's go ahead and reset all of our little markers so that we know what's going on and spawn some zombies. So I think the best way to do this is going to be, you know, one, two, uh, I, I, I guess if we just go clockwise, it becomes three, four, I guess is the way to do it. As long as I kind of stick with my same rotation, right? Uh, we'll do that. So we'll spawn up here first. One runner. Uh-oh. So I know you can't see this guy. Maybe we'll put him right there. Over here, we have one walker. Wow, at least we're getting not gnarly spawns right out of the gate. Uh, and then I guess if this is this over here, a double spawn. <laughs> There's a double spawn on our spawn right here. So let's see what we have now. We have nothing in sight. I feel like this happened last time. And two walkers. Last time I played was uh, the first mission, Big Game Hunting. All right. Okay. Well, back to us. Now we have plenty of zombies to do. Oh no, they have to. They have to. Oh, they have to move first. That's right. I spawned instead of moved all of our zombies. They, these guys are all gonna move in here. God, you'd think I'd have had this game figured out by now. That was it. Those were the only zombies that we had on the board, and they all moved right to us. That was all that happened. And then they spawned. It's move and then spawn. That's right. Okay. So they were done. Now it's our turn again. Look at that, messing it up on turn one. So the good news here is this Necromancer walked right into us because they're they're trying to get over here. That's the target for the Necromancer. And uh, we can just, you know, work on taking out um, everybody. Let's have... Uh, so we need to make sure that that fatty gets killed as well. Let's start with... Oh, man. Let's start with... Mortimer. Let's have Mortimer just swing in that area. He gets to roll five dice, right? Basically, the idea here is to make sure that we take out the fa... Oh, not no, I'm sorry, not Mortimer. Yeah, 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 because I want him to kill three... Well, hmm, can't leave the zone, 
but I want James to be able to search. That's a bummer. This is not going to work out the way I want it to. Okay, yeah, let's just have Mortimer go and just see what we can kill. I don't know if it's better to try to take out the fatty and then one guy and then one guy. Yeah, let's do it that way. Let's let's have James. Let's have James attack first. He gets one die and he's rolling against the fatty. He needs a four or better. And we have ourselves a five. Okay, so the fatty dies. James used one attack because he has the hammer. The hammer does two points of damage. They had to give you this as a starting item or you'd be in trouble. Uh, so see, the problem is, is now he just has to stay there and attack. I wanted him to leave, but you know, sometimes it doesn't work out. I'm just gonna roll two dice. We're gonna target the Necromancer first and then the Walkers. Since we're melee, we can pick our targets. We're just gonna attack two times. And we need what fours are better. So we took out the necromancer. That's all. That's that's all that's important here, right? Is we killed this guy. Necromancer dead. We get one more experience point, putting James at two. But we get to close this. Uh, God, or do we? Right? Or do we? Does this does this become one of those instances where I'd rather close the one way out there and just and just try to fight through it and just knock these two things out real quick and then just run away? I mean, that kind of doesn't seem like a bad idea. It would prevent so much stuff from spawning over there. And what if we could get over there and help these people? I feel like that's probably a terrible idea because we're going to have too many spawns in one area. But at the same time, it's kind of fun that way, right? So let's do that. <laughs> let's close this spawn way out here, and this becomes a normal spawn. Now, the problem, of course, is that necromancers are going to quite quickly make this little path, but hopefully we're not here that long to see that happen. Now, we're gonna take uh, Mortimer. Mortimer here is just going to swing five dice, a great sword, make some, some, some flesh wounds right here, and make zero, oh, one, we got one flesh wound, so we killed one walker, all right. One experience point, we're gonna go ahead and swing that sword one more time, I think, in that same zone. Oh, wow. Well, we killed one zombie again, so one more dead walker, one more experience point. We're up to two. Now, Mortimer here has one more action. Is it worth even walking in there? Um, I mean, there's nothing we're going to get for it. We may as well walk in there. Final action. That leaves us with Troy, who's going to use one action to walk in there and one action to swing a short sword, which is a four, against that zombie. Yes, we got it. Okay, that was probably not the right order to do things, but I did it that way anyway. So there's that. We have one experience point, one dead walker, and one final action remaining for Ash. I mean, Troy. So Troy is going to trade with Mortimer, meaning Mortimer is going to give Troy his short sword. And there we go. All right, they don't have anything else, but right now I want, I want somebody to dual wield. And now we have it. All right, we still have these, these people over here doing things. Let's try to get that door open again, huh? Let's give it a shot here. That means uh, <laughs> Xena, I'm just going to have to do it that way, is going to have to roll a four to open this door. Oh, no, she can't. I'm sorry, not Xena. Who's doing it here? Uh, Hitch. Hitch. Uh, nope. And we just have to stand here and try. Oh, that's a six. Okay, so we open the door. Boom. And uh, let's see here. We have one, two, three zones to spawn. So we're going to start here, then we'll go here and down here. So right here, we spawned ourselves a fatty. Boom. Up top, we've spawned ourselves a double spawn. Oh, no. <laughs> and so down here, we have two cards, one of which is a walker and one of which is a walker. Okay, so we have two walkers on the bottom. Not so bad. Not, 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 not horrible. All right, so then we still have one more action uh, with Hitch here. Tra-la-la. -la. We're going to come right in here, buddy. And then, uh, oh, no, 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 no. We can't. We have, oh, yeah, no, she can. Okay. Uh, oh, no, she, she doesn't have a melee weapon. <gasps> okay, so he can't go in there. His third action is to trade, so I have to swap. There's just no other way to do this. That way, she has a short sword, and now Hitch has a bow, uh, because super strength only works on a melee weapon, not a bow. Dang. Dang. Okay, so now her action, one action to come in there, Number two action is to roll, and she needs a four or better to use a short sword 
Yes, we got a five. Okay, good, 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 good. So we killed the fatty, which would normally require two, but she did three points of damage because she has that super cheater skill. That's crazy powerful. It shouldn't have been three, I don't think. Wow. Uh, okay, like if, if, it, if it was two and then over here she got another plus one later, you know, I could see that being, being okay. Uh, so now let's have her use her last action to just move up a room. Right? I mean, the goal of this is to do the things with the things, right? So we may as well do that. We have to get five. We have zero. That leaves us with Bob. All right, Bob. Bob is going to go one action into here. And then I don't like that these guys are just hanging out in my little spot here because they're going to they're gonna chase me down. So let's go ahead and cast twice in their direction here. It's range one, mana blast, zero to one. So we're just going to shoot into that area. I need a four or better to do one damage. Potentially, we could kill both of them here. I just want to clear the area. That's all. We've got uh, one dead. That's unfortunate. Okay, so there's one dead zombie, but that's it for us. Let's go ahead and reset our counters. And now we have to do well to remember. It's attack, then move, then spawn. Attack doesn't happen. Then move. Uh, the most noise is going to be coming from here <laughs> well they're gonna have to come out in the street anyway and then this guy's gonna move two one two um because that'll this this one will connect to up here is what that re that's really gonna look like okay then spawn so we're gonna spawn we don't have this one now so now it's gonna be one two three i guess so one i don't know if this was smart or the dumbest thing i've ever done oh, is a runner we're gonna put a runner right there okay and then I guess this will become two is an abomination. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> and three is a double spawn right here, meaning we go back to over here. And we have two cards, one of which is a fatty and a walker. Oh, my God. This just got real bad real fast. Okay. well um <laughs> oh god let's uh let's do this okay so let's send let's send oh my god and this is this is bad no matter which way i roll it let's let's send oh god i can't believe it the abomination already and how do we teleport? <laughs> uh, this actually might have been the best character to take, uh, Xena, here. How do we teleport? Uh, blue. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Red objective. All zombies on the opposite side of the board are... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. That's right. We can, we can do this. We can do this right. If we have her go first, right? Boom. So one action for Xena is to take the red. And that's... That's what is that five experience? Yeah, they're all five. Okay, so Xena Blue gets five experience. She is now at six. And all zombies on that side of the board are gone. That was a red objective. Okay. No XP gained from the kills, but each survivor gains uh five XP each. Whoa, 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 whoa. Each survivor gains five XP. Oh my god. Wait a second. So we're up to six. Uh, five. Oh, this is incredible. Seven. So we're in the yellow now. That's why this is that way. Seven. This is, oh boy. <laughs> and six. <gasps> oh boy. Okay. But we killed these guys and that's, that gives us a, 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 a oh boy. <laughs> this is so fun. Um, is the, is the dividing line right here? Cause, cause then this guy's dead, right? Is that how that works? Is the dividing line like it's it's that side? I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe the maybe this this is just a sanctum area or something. I don't know. I don't think. Uh, wow, that's kind of weird. Um, I mean, I guess it is on that side. I, I guess it's on that side. We'll. I don't know. I guess we have just have to make a call. If we're making this the, the dividing line, and zombies are almost never going to be here. Uh, in those two spots, well, it says side. I don't know. Let's 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 keep this guy here. I mean, this this I consider a side, and that's a side. This is kind of a center. Okay, 
Uh, whoa, that's that's actually kind of mind blowing now. All right, so blue, where are you? Xena here just like saved the day. Now she can she can search in here, or she can go one and two and try to attack that guy. We need a four or better. We got a two. Okay, so she failed against this little guy. Now, that's unfortunate for us, but here we are. Let's go ahead and take... Uh, oh, yeah, I don't want to shoot in there either. Let's take... Um, we need we need this, but that'll swap our sides. This is wild. Uh, so that was that was that was not great. Let's do this then. Let's have yellow go one and two and pick up the other red, right? So yellow here's that was one and two. Now everybody gets five more points. Now we're up to eleven. Oh, I forgot we get abilities as well. Hold on, <laughs> eleven, eleven, uh, eleven. How does everybody get to eleven? Why why is that? How did, I, how did I write 10? Uh, so everybody gets an extra action at this point as well. I completely forgot. Because it all happened so fast. Wow. So there's 25 experience just laying around this board, right? So you get one, 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 you get... Oh, so she had another attack. So we may as well just make that other attack against this zombie since it was still her turn. Because she earned it on her turn. Oh, and she killed it. Look at that. Okay, so there we go. So she's up to 12 now. Whoa! Oh, this is super fun though. You get to like actually experience, uh, you know, all the the stuff your character can do. Okay, so now, now yellow has two more actions. So let's have yellow move one and then attack that door because he gets five rolls on it, right? Because he has a great sword. This is wild. All right, we're gonna try to open this door. We just need a single five. We're gonna put a noise marker right here. Uh, we got a six and a five, so we're good. And a four doesn't matter. We open the door. We've got to spawn some jerks in here. Uh, one, two rooms. So in the first room here, we have a... We're all yellow, so three walkers. Oh, this just got real. Three walkers. And in the second room, we have a runner. A runner is up here. Here, if I put... If I put these with the runners, can you tell? Does this help to know that that's a runner and that's a runner? Maybe. Okay. Wow. This is wacky. Okay, so we're gonna take orange now. Let's let's see if uh, because we oh, we really need this thing here though. Um, let's have orange go one step in, and orange can't kill a lot of dudes, so maybe orange is is just going to search once. Orange does have the plus one search card ability, so we're gonna draw two. And we have ourselves a dagger and a water, right? So the water he gets to discard and gain one experience point. I guess that's 12. And then the dagger. Now the dagger, I really like the dagger. The dagger is a cool weapon because it says, add plus one die to another equipped melee weapon. Now it's going to be hard for me to remember that, but I will, I will try my darndest. Uh, the question is, do we do that or... Do we then trade? The, no, he's our two. He he's our. He has to have that extra die to fight fatty. So I guess that actually probably would have been the best thing ever. And then let's just have him do two make noise actions uh, since I can't search again. So we're just going to put a bunch of noise there. We want all kinds of bad stuff to happen. Oh, no. You know what? Let's not. I forgot. Troy. Can, hmm. No, because Troy hasn't gone yet. I'm sorry. My bad. Nope. We're going to use one of his actions to come up here and one of his actions to attack right here because we want to kill this guy. Okay, so let's go ahead and roll for James, who now gets two dice to use the hammer to try to kill one. He gets to roll a... Oh, you know what I should do? Is I should mark my my yellow levels here. Yellow, orange, or yellow levels. Here I am trying to cloud the colors. It's, it's the yellow skill right here. Not that this matters all that much, but it's fun. Uh, okay, so we've got to roll two dice. We need a four or better. Oh my goodness, two sixes. James, you're the man. Look at torches. That's that's James' thing. Why, yes, didn't you know that? The torch is mightier. <laughs> uh, um, we're going to kill two. Okay, so we go from 12 to 14. Wow, this is going to get out of hand really fast. What a well-designed map. That's insane. Okay, uh, so now we have to take Troy here and go one and then one more to attack. Troy gets to roll for the short sword two dice because it's dual wielding short swords, a four or better to take her out. We got a five. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we're going to take out the one walker down here. Troy is going to gain an experience point. All right. Now, he has two actions left. My best bet is to use them both to move and then roll. And again, I need a four. 
Otherwise, he's taking some serious damage. Oh, we got it. It doesn't matter. We got it. Oh, good. Okay, that was a that was a risk, but uh, it was definitely a risk I was willing to take because I don't like the idea of runners being on the board. However, he's at what looks like 13 experience points now. Oh, it's six and a four. Look at that. Sweet. This is exciting. All right, now we have problems over here as well. So Xena did her magic. Uh, what I would like to see... Who do... I had said this earlier, and I've already forgotten what my master plan was. We can't open this door. Xena here is the only one who can open a door on this side of the map, which is a bummer because we have this mess going on. Uh, we can't have anybody teleport yet, uh, but we're gonna. These guys are gonna get swamped here in just a second. They're literally standing on the spawn zone, so 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 I think we're not uh, too worried about that. Wait a minute, I picked up the thing and I never eliminated all the zombies, did I? I picked up the red thing over here. And then I got all excited and got the experience points. <laughs> okay, so yeah, and I think this guy's just alive. He's he's like in the limbo zone there in the middle. I don't think anything is uh, going on. Okay, now, I think... So we have nothing to worry about other than we have nothing to worry about. That's actually kind of scary. So let's have... So she's done. Let's green. Let's have Bob search... What does Bob find? Bob finds... Oh, I knew this was going to happen. A zombie. <laughs> One standard walker in the zone that you're standing in. I knew that was going to happen. And so now, Bob is going to have to use his attack roll, which is mana blast, and get a four or better to kill that, or he hits Xena. He's got a two. Well, he's lucky, so I get to re-roll it. <sighs> Another two. So Xena just took a point of damage. Boom. I mean, there's literally nothing I can do about it. Okay. That's a bummer. Uh, and then I guess he's going to use his two actions to to bail out, his two, re two remaining actions. That's going to leave Hitch, uh, who has a bow, which means if I shoot in there, we are screwed. Uh, so maybe Hitch just moves... Because she's going to take another damage right away. Well... Let's have Hitch just shoot in there. Oh, God. How stupid. Okay, God, he hit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got to take some risks, right? Okay, so there's that. So Hitch has three moves left. So Hitch can go one and then probably just stop right there. I don't see a point in going any farther, right? Okay, so let's reset. Now, zombie turns. Look at that. We have no zombies because we cheated and used the red axes. And so there is no attack phase. Now it's movement phase. Now, where was the most noise? These guys are all in different zones. There's two noise here. This guy's going to move one, two, that way, right, because he's a runner, and then we're going to spawn some jerks, so we're going to spawn up here, and we have ourselves a necromancer, let's throw this guy right here, we're going to spawn a necromancer, the necromancer spawn zone itself is going to spawn a necromancer, <laughs> so this guy comes right out here, now he has to get all the way up to, oh god, all the way over here to escape, so he's going to go up and around, because this doesn't actually connect to anything, this is a dead end, right, Okay, so that's that, and I, and I guess we're going to go, what did I say, around like this, I suppose? So here we have a necromancer! Oh my god, <laughs> I'm not making this up. And then up here we have, we're yellow, right? Yeah, we're yellow, we have a runner. Oh, this is so weird! Uh, yeah, we have a, you're in the yellow, so that's a runner, one runner. Okay, I feel like the cards are being nice to me, but I feel like it's all about to go real bad real fast here, too. Okay, it's back to us. So let's see. Oh, I gotta I gotta mark these runners because they're hard to see. So there's a runner, and there's a runner, and there's nobody else except for this jerk out here. Oh my god. Okay, so we need to kill him though, but we have so much time to kill him. I kind of just kind of want to let him be there. Uh, so I can't believe that happened. Now, the question, Raymond is what did you want to be? So uh, really, uh, green and blue are the ones that teleport us around, right? Green or blue objective, the survivor taking this objective immediately switches position with a survivor on the opposite side of the map if possible. So, I feel like we probably want, we probably want Troy on the right, okay? I feel like we want Troy on this side. I really do. I really, really, really feel like we need Troy on this side. So let's say Troy uses one action to walk 
and a number two action to pick this up. Now Troy is going to switch with Bob. <laughs> this is going to mess me up. Well, you know, in fact, I do believe the smart way to do this, if you're me, is to move these trays. At least, you know, God, I really like that. That's nice and simple. Okay, so there we go. Uh, and then everybody gets five experience. So we go from, what is this, 11 to 16, uh, 14 to 20. We are now in the orange. This is 11 to 16. And this is 13 to 18. We're one away. And then tw uh, 12 becomes 17. 11 becomes 16. So one guy was in the orange already. Who was that? Is that our man James? James, James, James. You are in the orange. And you get plus max. Ooh, plus one max range? Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. What is spellcaster? Do you get a free spell? Is that what that is? Spell, but you don't, I mean, you have neither one of those. Spellcaster, the survivor has one extra free action. This action may only be used for a magic action or enchant. What is plus, and plus one max range. What is, what is that? Oh, that's like on shooting stuff, and he has no ranged stuff. So, in the event, we, um, I'm going to just take the range, I guess, because, why not? Okay. So we then are back to red still. Red still has two actions. So let's use one to move up here and one to try to smash that door. We're going to roll, oh, one die. That's right, just one die because it's it's a melee attack is both dice. But trying to open a door, I think, is just one sword swing still. Uh, and we have a three. We did not open the door, but we probably made a lot of noise failing that roll. Yay. I hate doors in this game. Oh, look at this. This opens one, two, three zombies here. Oh, my word. Okay, so who else can attack over here? Blue, Zulia. So, one, Zulia. What's her name? Zuza. One, two. So, she is going to go one, two to walk. And then we're going to attempt to open the door with the third action. She has to roll a four or better. It's going to make more noise. And we have our... I mean, clearly these jerks are coming this way. We have a one. We didn't do it. And I guess we just try again. Five. We opened a door. So, now... Now, this door is open, but we got to do some spawns real fast here. There's this, there's this, there's this. This is a problem. I screwed up and put a spawn zone where I said I wouldn't do it. <laughs> uh, that's okay. I think we'll be all right, though. Okay. Uh, because, like, this board here can basically go away at this point, but I've, I've screwed up on this side, I believe. Uh, I bet at this point, though, we can probably scooch this down to just be like that, and then this can come down like it's supposed to be, and then these can come down like they're supposed to be. Oh, this whole board can go away. We're never gonna wind up back on that board. So let's go ahead and just bring these down. There we go. Everything's all crooked and messed up. You guys have no idea how much time I spend trying to line this up so it looks nice when it starts, and then ends, it just descends into chaos. Okay, so, and this is bad because it's hanging off the table and I'm gonna bump it. See, so we'll, we'll just try to be aware of what's going on here. But this, this one last piece needs to stay visible for the entirety of this play. But this is a little smoother here. You unfortunately can't see the trays. How's that? There we go. Okay, this, this, this won't be used all that much anyway. Okay, so we've got an open door. Oh, but I had to spot zombies down there. I'm an idiot. <laughs> and I just got through talking about it. That's okay. I will keep track of the zombies here. So up here we have... Uh, ooh, we're in orange now. All standard fatties get an extra action. There's like nobody on the board. Okay, so that's here. The second room here is a double spawn, and there is a third room down here. So I'm going to draw two cards for that third little room that's hanging off the edge of the board. We have, oh my god, three fatties to start. And then a second card is six walkers. <laughs> oh, God. I almost feel like I should just put, like, a die in there for six walkers. All right, four, five, six. So this is going to be real trouble until those guys get up off the board. Because I can very easily knock both of these off, and I like that we can actually see more of what's going on now, and I'll just be very careful. Wish I didn't have that extra donut. I'm trying to sit in between the U of, of these boards right here. Uh, wow. So every single thing, just so you can see it, spawned down here on the end of this board. I mean, that's just that's just it, right? I guess I could have held off pulling all this down another round or two, yeah? Uh, but I didn't, and here we are. Okay, so can anybody on this side do anything? Hitch can go in and do the one important thing, right? Hitch can come in here for one move. 
and two actions can pick this blue thing up and I've already forgotten blue is the one that switches so oh that's kind of a bummer because like who switches now right uh, so I guess hitch hitch is ranged and I needed range well you know what hitch is gonna switch with green then right so now Hitch is over here, and Bob came back. It's that wild magic. So that actually worked out pretty well. That was a mis that was an accident, but I needed one ranged guy over there, and now I have kind of the way I want it to be. So yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> um, so that happened. So where, oh where? Okay, so Bob is here now. Hitch just teleported over to here. So Hitch is still inside and has two actions. So we're going to search for one action. We found a torch. That's pretty awesome. And you know what? We're standing with the torch man. So we're going to do another thing. We're going to trade. And we're actually going to have him equip it in his, his little third spot because he can. Because Brother James <laughs> can go ahead and do that. So he's done. So, oh my goodness, this is so messed up. Well, it's going to be a minute before these guys catch up to us, though. Uh, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and take green and have you go one, two, three. So it's three of your four actions. And a fourth action is going to be to shoot that necromancer. I need to roll a four or better. My range is zero to one, so I've got it. Uh, ooh, a six. We got it. We killed the necromancer. Booyah. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and close this one, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, buddy, I think so. I think we're gonna go ahead and close that necromancer spawn. Uh, we're gonna give one experience. Oh God, hold on a second. You know what I didn't do? We're gonna we have to give five experience for for doing the swap. Oh God. So now we're at twenty one. Oh my God, this is insane. Uh, twenty five. Sixteen to twenty one. This is weird. 20, 18 to 23, 17 to 22, and 17 to 22. Now we're in the oranges with everybody now, right? Yeah, okay, so orange, uh, we have plus one free melee action, plus one free move action. Let's go ahead and take the uh, the move action. We'll, we'll make that a silver one here. Why not? I mean, he can use it now. It was still technically him, right, that did it when that all happened. So he also gets a free move. We're going to send you down here with yellow after you did your little trade. Uh, then we have this one. You already were orange. This orange, plus one free combat action or born leader. Born leader says during the survivor's turn, he may give one free action to another survivor to use as he pleases. This action must be used uh, during the recipient's next, next turn or it is lost, or a free combat action. Wow, those are good. I'm gonna take the combat action because I feel like I would forget and lose track of where my extra little token goes, right? Uh, okay, so we're gonna do that. And then over here, Troy in the orange now has plus one to dice rolls or Ironhide, oh baby. Let's take Ironhide. I'm gonna do that because I like being able to roll armor and we haven't found any armor yet so i'm just going to put the little uh little shield here to remember that we have an iron hide roll and let's see xena here plus one to die oh charge her charge move sounded like complete bs right she's incredible the survivor can use this skill for free as often as she pleases during each of her turns he moves up to two zones. I keep switching he and she. It's just they're, they're written he. She moves up to two zones to a zone containing at least one zombie. Normal movement rules still apply. Entering a zone containing zombies ends the survivor's move action. That is just, and it's free. It's kind of BS, right? Like, let's, let's, just, let's just get crazy with it then. Let's, let's do charge. And then Bob here, plus one free magic action or something called hit and run. This is a great map to check out how your dudes work. Hit and run. Oh god, it's like a lot. The survivor can use this skill for free, for free, just after he resolved a magic melee or ranged action resulting in at least a zombie kill. He can then resolve a free move action. The survivor does not need to spend extra actions to perform this free move action if zombies are standing in his zone. <gasps> uh, that's cool. But you know what? There's also just plus one, one free magic action, which I actually really like because I miss a lot. Uh, so we're just gonna take that and currently he is standing here with nobody to kill. So we're just gonna take that. This is bonkers. Okay 
<laughs> All right, what do we got left? None of you guys and just two of you guys. So Orange can go ahead and do one move. So I'm going to come out this door, I think, is what I'm going to do, as opposed to open that mess, right? So let's go there. Then we're going to do a search. And remember, Brother James here, he gets two cards. We have an axe and a, and a drag. <laughs> I knew we'd find one. And, and that was quite to the like early. Like I only I, I've only drawn like five cards, right? So we have a dragon vial. That's exciting. And an axe. Also quite exciting. So here's what we're going to do. Uh dang. I mean, homie's got all the stuff. Uh I, I guess does he just keep him in his backpack or does he trade with somebody? Uh I mean Mortimer has that great sword, which is kind of amazing. He can, so since he's in the zone with these people, he's going to trade. Yeah, you know what? Moving these boards over to this side is the best thing ever because I can actually pay attention to like just this half and not be like, oh, who's purple now? Purple's just here. Uh, and then Dragon Vial, I think that perhaps he holds on to the Dragon Vial himself? Is that the is that the best course of action? I mean, I guess, right? We're going to see it coming when it, when, it, when it happens. He has one action left. He's going to use it to step out into the street. And then we have uh, Mortimer with the greatsword. One, two, three, four. I don't want to do that. Let's have Mortimer search for one action. We have a Mana Blast spell. Ooh, ooh, oh, no. You're over here now, Bob. <laughs> this is wild. Okay, so you searched and... Well, I guess you can equip it. Who cares, right? Mana Blast. And then uh, you've got what? You've got three more moves. One, two, three. I don't want it. One, two. Let's just do one action to move... Oh, no. There's there's going to be spawns in here. So maybe, maybe you just stand there and make three noise. Let's just say you made a whole mess of noise so people go that direction, right? One, two, three. Uh, oh, that door token should have... This one should have gone away last round. My bad. Okay, I... I think we're okay. I think we've got everybody done. Let's reset everybody here. This is the only way to play this game is using some kind of little tokens to keep track of what you've done. Otherwise, it just would be insane. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I can't believe it, I needed that mana blast. All right, so we've got a bunch of broken door tokens. We've got all kinds of problems. Oh, this, this ended last time. Okay, but now we've got more noise over here. I guess just, uh, I mean, it's not gonna matter those guys are gonna go well yeah it would like the most noise would be two and two yeah okay we know the most noise is over here now okay zombies are going to attack no attacks then move so i'm going to push up this whole fat pile right there. <laughs> so they're back on screen this guy's going to move to this way this guy's going to move to that way and then we're going to spawn some jerks so we're going to spawn some jerks right here we have four walkers one two three four and then we have, right here, we have two runners. Oh, boy. Two runners. Because now we're in the orange, remember? And then we have, oh, I knew this was going to happen. All standard runners. So, dang. Okay. So they all get one extra action. So this guy will come forward. This guy will come forward. And now these two that are here are going to get a free attack. And it looks like they're both just going to uh, go after. Uh, God, nobody has any armor. Let's let's go. Let's go. Hitch just took two damage. I guess. I'm sorry, Hitch, but that's just the way it is. Okay. So yeah, man, these runners are no good. There's no runners here. These are fatties and 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 walkers. Uh, okay. So back to us. We have problems. Let's go ahead and have Mortimer do his free attack. That's the red one here. That is five dice to swing around and try to kill these runners. Uh, four dice. There we go. Five dice. Let's see it right here. Let's see it. We got, oh boy, we got two kills, right? That's a five and a six. So that's two runners dead. Good to hear it. Good to hear it. Uh, that takes us to 23. And let's see here. So that was one action. Now he can use one more action to step out of that horrendous room and into the room with this guy. So he's going to use another attack and he's going to roll five dice against that one. He needs a five or better though. With that great sword, good. I got a six out there. That's all I needed was the torch. So we killed one more runner. Am I mixing these guys up? No. Okay. So we got a we got a runner here that is dead. We're gonna go from 23 to 24, and then it looks like uh, God. If I get one two, I'm just standing there with him, and that seems kind of 
bad, right? That doesn't seem like what I want to do, but at the same time, we got to run. we got to push forward. So one, two, there we are. Now, who else can help us out here? Uh, Hitch can get up in there, right? So Hitch has a free move action, one, and then one, two, one, two actions. And then Hitch has two actions left. He can use, so what does Hitch have here? So the axe just uh, opens doors without asking anybody, so that's nice, but the uh, attack is the same, so it really doesn't matter what, uh, yeah, so let's, let's do an axe attack, which is a four, and we've got to kill this runner. We failed, let's do another axe attack and kill this runner. We have to charge these guys up in here. We gotta get there, there's a six, we got a dead runner, yes. <laughs> Okay, this is a bizarre game, being able to wipe the board like that. So Hitch just got another experience point, is up to 22, I think. Uh, and then uh, Orange here, you have four moves. One, two, three, four. We're just going to send you right up there, buddy. Boom, on our way out of here. So uh, yeah, I think we're okay there now. So over here, we still have so many problems. Uh, let's take... <sighs> let's take... Let's let's take let's take let's take Bob. No, I got I got I got I got problems here. One, two, three, four. Ooh, see that stinks. Um, so nobody else here is ranged. Uh, we got Bob as range, and that's it. Okay, so let's say one, two, three, four. God, if they just go that way, we're gonna leave poor Bob. Let's okay. So we're gonna have Bob just do a bunch of attacks. So first he gets a free attack. And I'm going to spend three of his other actions, leaving him one action. So that's four shots with Mana Blast in that area. So I'm just going to roll four dice all at once. And any fours or better are kills. Oh, and that makes noise. Mana Blast makes noise. That's something I think I've been overlooking. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So we made a, a boatload of noise <laughs> in this zone here. And we, oh, wow, we killed one, two, three of them, though. Hey, that's all right. One, two, three. Uh, who was that? Bob? Bob, you killed three. You're at 25 experience now. This is insane. Uh, this one ramps up fast because of the way you get those five experience points. Now, let's just uh, move Bob out of the way. We're going to pull Bob back. Okay, but there's a load of noise there. These two guys are simply going to go one, two, three, and four. That's that's all I want them to do. So that's everybody done. So let's go ahead and just push this all forward again here. So we have everybody's actions. I should be keeping the the clear or not clear the the off color one separate so we can see it a little bit easier. Okay, so zombie turns. They get to attack. No zombies are attacking. Zombies move. They're going to move forward. They're going to come up to this room here finally. Oh my goodness, and now we can get rid of this board, I promise you. Okay, oh, there's a door on there too. Okay, so there we are. So they're all in this room. I don't have this. This gives me a little bit of playroom. I like that. All right, now, in fact, I kind of want to scoot over so I don't <laughs> smack this board. Uh, that's it for zombies. Let's go ahead and spawn here first. We have ourselves all standard walkers get another activation. So you're going to walk here, and these guys are going to come out into the street. Uh, and that's it for zombies. This is such a weird map. Uh, and then now we're going to go here. We have five walkers. That's all the walkers we just killed. Five walkers here. And then now this spawn is going to be... Ooh, two fatties. Okay. Two, oh, how did I grab... Oh, the hit, it fell off. I was able to, to pilfer these from the NPC boxes. There we go. So we got two fatties there now. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Back to us, just like that, huh? The spawns were not that bad, even though for being orange. All right, well, let's see here. Okay, so our problem now is that I really, really, really want to just just handle it, right? I mean, that's the goal. So let's go ahead and have Bob here shoot this guy. Uh, where's Bob? Bob is going to use a free magic attack and roll this. I need a four or better. He can't hit himself. Oh, I forgot. Bob can reroll everything. That's okay. I didn't want to reroll a three out of four. So Bob hit with his one, killed this one walker. So Bob is going to get one experience point. For some reason, I keep reaching, wanting to reach for Bob up top. Probably because that's where he started. Maybe. I don't know. But that's where I'm going to put him. Okay. So there's Bob up top. Now, Bob, oh, that's unfortunate. I shouldn't have started with Bob because he can't open a stinking door and I wanted him to shoot in there. 
I really wish I didn't do that. Yeah, that was that was dumb. These should all be gone now, except for that one. Yeah, that was a bad move on my part. I should have opened the door. Uh, yeah, that's a bummer. Well, it's too bad, so sad. So we're just going to go... He's got four. He can move four more spaces. I guess he just moves one and then makes a whole bunch of noise right there, I guess, just to bring people that direction, I guess. I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's a bummer. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so who's going to open that door? We are going to have Troy attempt to... No, we're going to have... Yeah, Troy is going to attempt to open this door. We need a four or better. And that's going to make a lot of noise in that zone. Failed. I'm just going to keep doing it until we open the door because that's our goal for the game. Failed. This is so dumb. There we go. There's a door open. Okay. So the door opens. Our first spawn right here is going to garner us five walkers. Oh my goodness. Yeah, see, and I wish I could shoot in there now. Five walkers? Oops. And then the back room back there is one runner. Not so bad. What on the what in the heck? What on earth? I don't know what's going on. Okay, so there's ah, there's a lot of guys, and I can't really just wade in there now. I don't think, right? So, uh, we oh, he has he has one final action, so he could technically go in there. <sighs> Let's go ahead and do it. So Troy is gonna walk in there. All right, Ash. I need you to come through for me. But he has armor, right? He has Ironhide, right? Ironhide's like roll a five or better, even if you're not wearing armor. We did very little searching. I'm trying to rush this one down. Uh, that leaves us Xena here, who has that weird charge ability where she can just move for free, right? She can move for free. Uh, can use this skill for free as often as she pleases during each of her turns. Moves up to two zones containing at least one zombie. So she can just be here now. She can just be like, yoink, I'm in here. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Wait a minute. Can she do? Hold on. C containing at least one normal move. Oh yeah. Okay. So it would stop me anyway. So she she's in there and she can swing four times against those jerks. I mean, people are gonna get hit, but that's you know I, I got I got chances. So I got one, two, three dead zombies in here. So one, two, three. So she's going to gain three, taking her from twenty-two to twenty-five. Dang. Okay. I mean, we're going to take some damage here, right? Somebody's going to take two hits. Hopefully, Troy can, can not take a damage, and then the runner's going to move and strike again. Hopefully, we can survive the onslaught. All right. Now, this side of the board, you know, I'm, I'm kind of just cool with you guys just doing whatever now at this point, right? Like, I took out this spawn zone because I knew I was going to run away. So, if this guy runs uh, four, one, two, three, four, and then, I mean, everybody has, oh, uh, you can run five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. You're all done. Everybody's done. Let's reset. Zombies are now going to attack. So we're going to have, we're going to have Ash here. Where's Ash? Red. Ash is going to get to roll for Ironhide. So fives are better. He doesn't take the two damage. Uh, so he only took one damage because we got a success. And then the runner is going to activate uh, once and then... Uh, and then everybody, uh, uh, well, everybody's going to move as well, right? So it was attack and then move. So these guys are all up here, and these guys are now on the street. And then the attack happens again, right? The next action of the runner against Ash again may as well. Five or better, he doesn't take any damage. Dang it. Okay, so he's hurting, though. Oh, my goodness. All right. Spawning these jerks. Let's go ahead. Ooh, I almost just knocked the whole card stack off. Spawning here, we have a double spawn. In this little hallway is a fatty, so one fatty, and then we have four walkers in that same space, and then up here we have four more walkers. Wow. This, this game is playing out so crazy different to me. All right, this guy keeps falling off his little stand, so I'm going to switch him out with a different fatty. Okay, so unbelievably different than anything I've ever played before of Zombie Side. This is wild. <laughs> okay. So let's let's uh let's figure this out here. So we have to kill we absolutely positively must kill every one of <laughs> these guys in the room. So uh who's our best man at that? Troy is going to do one attack. He gets to roll two dice because he has uh, dual dual wielding short swords. Fours or better are gonna hit we have a one and a one, so we're gonna do that again. Priority on that stinking runner, though. I'll tell you what. 
Wow, a three and a three. And again. I hate this game. <sighs> okay, so we killed one guy. So there's a dead runner. You're going to gain one experience point going to 24. We're going to do it again. I need two hits to kill these stupid guys. I got one hit, so one walker down. <laughs> Okay, and now Troy is done here. Uh, now, I guess that leaves blue. Xena is in here, so she's going to do one attack. She gets one die, four or better. There it is. We killed this idiot. Okay, so we are up to 26. Now, she has two, two actions. I'm going to burn to move and pick up the red. And again, just so we're seeing it, the red says all zombies on the opposite side of the board are eliminated. No XP is gained from the kills, but each survivor gains five from the discovery. Wow. Each survivor. So all of these guys just died. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That was actually, you know, now that I, th I see it, it was actually smart of me to close to open another thing on this side, because this side had three objectives, two reds to wipe it out twice, now that I think about it. That wasn't me being a genius, that was me being dumb and, and, and falling backwards into the answer. And so now all we need to do to win is to open this door and get everybody in there. Sweet. Okay, blue, she has one more action. We may as well have her step this way. Uh, that leaves Bob with his four moves to go one, two, three, four. And then, God, these guys. So what do we do over here now? Do we send in... Uh, let's leave James for... Oh, everybody... Oh, no. Okay, so uh, Hitch can open a door for free because he has an axe. So it's one free move, two a move. The axe doesn't require a roll on opening a door. It just requires the action, right? So you'll see there's no die on opening a door there. So it is, of course, going to make a noise. I've been very bad at keeping track of my noise. All right, so we're going to do that. So he's going to open the door, and what spawns inside? Oh, did I give everybody five experience? No, I didn't. 22 to 27, 25 to 30, 24 to 29. I think the trick to this would be to try to beat getting to red. 31, like finish it before you get there. 30 uh, and 26 to 31. Uh, okay, so now he opens the door. The spawn, we're still in the orange. We're not quite too red yet, so the orange spawn is all standard walkers get another activation. Here they come. I mean, we can outrun them at this point, right? I mean, is it even worth... Uh, oh, there was nobody even in there. <laughs> so his one action is going to be to walk in here. Uh, this guy gets one, two actions to walk in here. That's fine. Um, Oh, maybe, maybe he ran. Did I already play them? I guess I already did. Uh, maybe I didn't move him back. Maybe I didn't reset him. Did I do that side of the board first? Is that what happened? Okay, well, either way, it doesn't matter. Next round, we can handle it anyway. I don't actually remember now. Let's just reset everybody because this is, this is trivial at this point. We literally can't screw up, right? Unless we do something really dumb or draw really dumb cards, like draw a bunch of runners like double spawn, double spawn, double spawn, a million runners, and then runners activate, runners activate. Like there's no way to screw this up. We can outrun everybody. Here's a necromancer, right? Okay, so here's a necromancer. Here's a necromancer spawn. And just the way that we have this set up, we kind of, I don't think we can lose this, right? And this is three run. Well, <laughs> he said, <laughs> there's three runners. I don't think there's any way to lose this. I really don't. Then there's this side is two fatties. They're never going to catch us. Right? We're never going to see these guys. And then over here we have one abomination. I mean, BFD, right? So so what? We're out of here. Now it's our turn. So red, how many moves can you make? You can run four spaces. One, two, three, four, right? Blue, how many spaces can you run? Four. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay, so you're done, right? Bob, where's Bob? Bob is green. You can move four spaces. One, two, three. Okay, purple, um, you're done, even if you weren't in there before, I don't care. You're not even going to move. Orange, you can move four spaces, one, two, right? I mean, we can't lose this. And then uh, and then uh, yellow can move, what, four spaces, one, two, three, four. So we're, we're I mean, we, there's, there's literally no way they can catch us because now they're all going to move, right? One space, they're, well, they're gonna attack, no, then move. They're all going to move out, move out, move out. Then the runners are going to move again. There should be three. One, two, three. So there, there are three runners up here. We'll keep that in mind. I and mean, that's it, right? Then we spawn. This this can't be bad for us. We spawn three, three walkers. 
One, two, three, four. Yeah, we, we've got it. There's no way for them to catch us. Because one, two, three, four, those guys have four actions. They can get in there. So we spawn three walkers here. We have a double spawn way over here. We have a Necromancer, so the Necromancer is going to move up into this pile. And two runners, they're not going to move, right? We'll put them here anyway, just to play it out. And then up here we have two fatties and... Oh, did I have not have a double spawn there? If I did, it was... Uh, oh, yeah, it was a... That's it, Necromancer, right? So that's it, that's it. Now then we get to go, and it's one, two, three, four. Wow! <laughs> so... I feel like that have, that might have been the luckiest game I've ever played. I always get massively overrun uh, with zombies just a little bit too easily, and it's just out of control. But being able to wipe the board by picking up these red things was amazing. Wow. Okay, well, that was kind of fun, too. I liked the idea of, of trying to strategize against who was on what side once I figured that out, and then I, I screwed it up anyway. Still made it work out. We had Dragon Bile. Had we needed it, we never had to use Xena here. That's a lot of fun, though. Uh, I don't know. This is the first and only time I've ever played one of these online maps and everything, uh, so I don't know too much about them. I don't know if they are generally, like, super hard or, or whatever, but this one did say it was only medium, right? It did say medium. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I would agree. That seemed a little easy. That might have gone entirely differently, though, if I played it again. In fact, I'm sure it would, of course, because uh, of the amount of randomness in Zombie Side. But, uh, you know, it could have gone completely differently. We could have had uh, lots of problems with necromancers. But remember, at one point, we had necromancers just walking for a bit, and it was totally okay. So we burned off a lot of necromancer cards. We got the abomination killed for free right away. That was kind of nice, right? And then we were able to open the door at the very end and not have to face anything because it just made everybody move. Wild game. A lot of fun to play the different survivors, though. I've only ever played the ones in the base game, so it was really, really fun to see some new faces out there. It's Zombie Side. What do you expect? Thanks for watching. And remember, games are made for everyone's recreation. Take care.